Welcome to FreshMaya.com. My name is Eric, and I'm going to show you how to do a simple render of your projects. Basically, it's a method for allowing you to save images and producing uh, projects that you create inside Maya. You can save images on your computer. You can post them on the internet, post them in the forums to show off your work. So let's go ahead and begin. Up, up on your status line, the far right, you'll see some buttons, and the buttons have those things that they use in movies when they say cut. You'll see one that has two dots next to it. You'll see one that says IPR on it. You'll see one that, does, that says nothing on it. And then to the left of that, you'll see one that's kind of in a gray box with a blue border on top. The one all the way to the right with the two circles on it, click that with your left mouse button. It will open up this dialog box, which is your render settings. The top, you'll see a drop down box that will allow you to select. Maya software, Maya hardware, or Maya vector. Make sure it's on Maya software. Underneath that you'll see a couple of tabs. Underneath the common tab, scroll down and you'll see a section where you can adjust the image size. There are some presets, so just click on this drop down box and now you can scroll and pick a size. For posting in forums, the ideal size is 640 by 480. If you go really big, and if you go too big, then what happens is when you post your image in the forums, a lot of your image is cut off to the side, and a lot of people get pretty annoyed at uh, not being able to see your whole image. So for posting in the forums, um, 640 by 480 is the ideal size. You can also input specific width and height for your image. So if you don't see something in the presets, you can just type in what you want right here. All right, once you pick a size, go to the Maya software tab, and at the top, underneath the anti-aliasing, I don't know how you really pronounce that, uh, quality, you'll see a drop-down box, and you'll see production quality. That's a really good quality, is production quality. You can also do preview quality, which is lower, or custom. So if you have like a really big scene and you don't want to spend a lot of time in the rendering just to do some testing on the colors or whatever, you can use a lower quality, like a preview quality. I'm going to go ahead and change it to production. I'm going to close this out. Now I'm going to go back up and I'm going to click on the button that's next to, to the right side of the one that's in the gray box with the blue border on top. Right next to it to the right, you'll see one that doesn't have any writing or anything. It's just plain. If you put your cursor over there and look in your uh, on the help line down at the bottom of your screen, it should say something like render the current frame. So if we click that, Maya starts to render that out. And there we go. And you can resize this window. You can go to a border, and when your cursor changes, you can left mouse click, and you can drag your border to resize that window. You can also go to a corner and that way you can resize it in any direction. Alright, if you look at our screen, our render, the background is black. So it's kind of almost like a nighttime render, sort of. Um, we can change the color of that background. Now before we do that, if you look at the top of this render screen, you'll see uh, two boxes with a black arrow. One is going out and the other one is going in. If you click on the one that's going in, then Maya kind of keeps that in memory. So if we close that window out, and we go back up to our status line, and this time we click on the button that's got that gray box with the blue border on top, if you click that, it pulls up that render window again. And any, any uh, images that you save in, in this render win uh, window, you can use a scroll bar at the bottom to scroll through them. Now, if you were to close out Maya, then this would not be available anymore. The only way to save this completely on your hard drive is go up to the File menu in that window, and then click on Save Image. Okay, before we do that, let's go ahead and close that window. In our View panel, let's go to View, down to our Camera Attribute Editor. Let's click on that. Now, over here to the right, now remember this is the same area where we adjusted our far clip plane which tells Maya how far our camera can see. If you scroll down, you'll see a section that says Environment. Just click on the button to the left of that, and it will expand that area, and you'll see a background color. 
just click on that black color and now we can change the back the color of our background. I'm gonna click on this light blue and let's see I'm gonna move this slider to lighten that up kinda like a really nice daytime color blue for our sky. Click on accept. Now we can render again. I'm gonna click on that button up on our status line. And now our image looks a lot better. It looks like a nice daytime scene. So now we can click on this button again at the top with the arrow going down into the box. That kind of puts our images into a box, kind of storing them temporarily. We can use this scroll at the bottom now to compare those two images. So you can see that changing the background color made a, a nice difference. And that's pretty much it. We're ready to save it. So I'm going to go to File, Save Image. I'm going to go to my desktop and I'll just save it on my desktop. Down here where it says file type at the bottom, I'm just going to expand that and I'm going to select JPEG. Uh, if you want a higher quality, you could check uh, PNG or TIFF or Targa. Those are all really good quality um, formats. They also hold um, anything that's transparent. So if you don't have any kind of geometry for your sky, it might look a little weird. You can always convert it to JPEG, but uh, just simplest terms, you can just select JPEG. It's a nice small file size. Give a name to your image. Let's call this having fun render or just having fun image. I'm going to click save. Now if we go to our desktop, there is our house all rendered out and because of JPEG it's a, it's a small file size so if I right click and go to properties you'll see that it's only 21 kilobytes in size so it's a, a nice small file and that's it for rendering out a frame so if we went scroll over to this other one and then did file save image go to JPEG name this having fun image 2 save go to our desktop and there it is there's the one with the black sky let's see is there anything else I can tell you without getting too complicated yes there's one more thing I can tell you let's say you like this image right here if you want to see exactly what's going to show up in your render, you can go up to your view menu, go down to camera settings, and you'll see a no gate, film gate, and resolution gate. If you put it on resolution gate, it gives you this nice little window, and now you can change your scene, and whatever is in that window is going to show up in your render. So you can adjust your scene however you want it to be. And then if you finally found some, something that you like, you can go back up to view go down to bookmarks and now you can go to edit like I created one called camera view one you can go to edit bookmarks type new bookmark you can give it a name let's call this camera angle one close so now if I move my camera around and say oh I wish it was back where I had it well you can just go up to view go to bookmarks and there's our camera angle one that we created so if I click on that the camera automatically goes right back to where we saved it as so it's a little trick you can do so if I wanted a camera angle let's say from the other side of the lake let's say we were over here and we could see our house through the trees view bookmarks go to edit bookmarks click on new bookmark let's call this camera angle two or whatever you want to give it a name close so now if we move our camera I can go up to view bookmarks and there's camera angle 2 if I click on it, it takes us right back to where we had it so now you've got the power to set up your cameras and set it up so you get a render the way you want it to be you know how to render it out just go to your render settings put it on Maya software click on your software tab change it to high quality Go to your Commons tab, 
pick a image size. You can either choose from the preset or you can spe uh, specify what you want the height and width to be. Close it out and then click your render button. And it will render it out. And if you're not sure you want to keep this or save this yet, you can put it in this uh, temporary box. Just click on with the arrow down. So now if I go over here, say this one here, or let's go to the first one. Let's say I don't want this. I can click on the box with the arrow going up out of the box, and it takes it out. Or it's supposed to. Oh, yeah, there it goes. It took it out that time. So now it's no longer in there. And that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.